Hey, Roger Casey again with Burgess. Today we want to talk some more about safety glazing. Those areas where there is glass glazing that should be uh, um, tempered or protected in some fashion. In R308.4, which is the section for, for hazardous locations for glass, there are seven uh, areas that are determined that require safety glazing. Today we'll touch on two of those because they kind of go hand in hand. That's 308.4.6 and 308.4.7. And that is glazing that's adjacent to stairs, ramps, and landings. So when we have a situation in a home like this where there is a, a window or windows next to a flight of stairs, what does the code say? What are the dimensions? What's the proximity to the stairs where it is required to be safety glazing when it is not? Let's dive into that briefly and see what we can find out. Okay. Here's an illustration of the scenario we just saw upstairs, where we've got a flight of stairs coming down to a landing, a mid-landing, and then continuing on to the, the first floor. Now, the, the section here addresses safety glazing or hazardous locations for stair, stairs, ramps, and landings. What it's talking about in 308.4.6 are intermediate landings or middle landings like this. A couple of code cycles ago, bottom landings were pulled out to their own section. So we'll look at that in just a second. Basically what this says is that any glazing within less than 36 inches from a walking surface has to be uh, addressed because that's a hazardous location. So a situation like this, where this is uh, less than 36 inches, then yes, that's why this window is in red. Probably gonna need tempered glass in that situation. However, over here, if this one is greater than 36 inches, above the landing, above the walking surface, not the hazardous location, no special attention needed there. So that's good. Now, what do, we, uh, what do we know about bottom landings? Let's take a look at that. Okay, I've changed up the illustration just a little bit so we can discuss the bottom landing. Remember that was pulled out to its own section here a couple of code cycles ago. So now we're 308.4.7, and that strictly deals with that bottom landing scenario. So what we've done is reverse the direction of travel on the stairs. Now we're traveling down the stairs this direction and worried about windows that may fall in this area, a potentially hazardous location. So in 308.4.7, there are two conditions that have to be met, and it is an and. If that, if that glass is less than 36 inches from the walking surface and less than 60 inches from the tread nose of that bottom stair. Less than 60 horizontally, less than 36 vertically, then it, uh, then it has to be um, uh, addressed from a safety glazing standpoint. Now here's a qualifier. You see this dotted line, this arc, that's the other thing that code mentions here is in an arc, within an arc, less than 180 degrees. So any window, any glazing that falls in this area will be deemed a hazardous location and need to be addressed. And the concern there is someone coming down the stairs and falling into the glass. Now, the reason it says 180 degrees, we don't have to worry about going past this line. Anything that's greater than 180 degrees is not a concern for falling into traveling that direction. That's why it only is addressed from a direction of less than 180 degrees. Thanks for watching as we try to demystify the locations for safety glazing. Stay tuned for more.